Hello everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. Today with my video, I wanna talk about a game that I have completed to the best of my ability, and I want to put a really nice perspective out there for if you are trying to play the game, or if you haven't played the game yet, or if you're just looking for a review on the game, or you don't wanna play the game at all, you just wanna hear about what I have to say. Now, if my editing skills don't fail me, there should be a video down here of the game, of my playthrough with my friend cam versus world um he makes good content you should go check him out um but and if you're looking for that gameplay it'll be somewhere i have the best playthrough that i could possibly create uh we got the best ending first try which is pretty cool most of the gameplay was blind i do want that to be informed now i want to talk about the pros and cons of the devil in me um I love the game. It's an amazing game. Honestly, I've never played any of the Dark Picture franchise at all before The Devil and Me. I've only seen gameplay through The House of Ashes, and I never really touched it. I want to, but I didn't really, like, play it. My fault. Whatever. I think a big thing that I have on Devil and Me is, first off, if you are planning on playing the game, I wouldn't watch a review because I think the game is really good going in blind. I sadly uh, wasn't sure what I was getting into, and I didn't realize that going in. Um, I tried to go completely blind, but I watched one of my favorite content creators, Moist Critical, uh, his playthrough on it. He didn't go through everything, but some of the things he did do, I was like, I don't want to do that, or I, you know, this is the decision I want to make, whatever. So, but up after that, it was completely blind, and before that, uh, most of it was blind. And I did have a lot of fun playing it, and I did make my own decisions. And Cam saved a lot of people. I saved a lot of people. We did great, great playthrough. So the game itself has, it stars five characters. Mark, Charlie, Aaron, Kate, and Jamie. Uh, and they are all actors, kind of, working for a studio production hosted by Charlie. And they go into an island. I'm not going to spoil the entire game. Because I think that's something that you guys should go through and play yourself or watch my playthrough. Uh, we did get the best ending. But pros and cons before I get off topic. So I would like to say that the pros of The Devil in Me. Me playing the game, I was able to easily pull an all-nighter. It was a lot of fun playing with my friend. And I think it's definitely one of those games you play with your friends. I really did feel a lot of terror and fear while playing the game. I think that was a huge 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 like i don't know experience i don't know i couldn't think of the right word uh i think experience when you play the game you sit there and you're worried you're worried for these characters you fall in love with these characters you find a favorite my favorite personally is mark um and you go through the game and you just kind of like you want to keep them alive or you hate them and you want them to die but we, Cam and I, managed to play the entire game and we saved every single character. Again, most of it was blind. I'd like to say a good, like, 60% of the gameplay was blind. We didn't really know what decisions to make, but we just went with our gut. We played it very thoroughly. I cut out the menus, but overall, really fun game. Um, pros, quite nice. I think everyone should check it out. Get a buddy, play it. Um, it's really fun, but if you do play it, I don't recommend you go through, go watch gameplay, but if you don't plan on playing it, check out my gameplay. I think it's really cool, and I'd really appreciate, uh, the support. Now, for the cons. The cons of The Devil and Me are there. At first, I was kind of convinced, and if you watched my gameplay, you'll kind of notice that I went through the entire game being like, oh, the game's buggy, because, again, I watched Boys Critical, there were a lot of bugs in his game, and I did have to close out my game a couple times because I was bugging. But my stream was fine, and then eventually my stream shut down because the game was buggy. It was really weird. Um, and that was not cool. There were a couple bugs towards just the game itself, but overall, it looks pretty cool. I think they probably could have put a little bit more uh, details into some of the textures in, off in the distance, and you'll notice that in my second episode. Um, I look off in the distance with the camera. There's not a lot of textures. I don't think that's really cool. I think if you're going to make a game and with a lot of detail towards the characters, uh, you should make the scenery look really nice, but that's just my opinion, and I'm allowed to have my own opinion. It's called my opinion. <laughs> um, I think I think a big issue with the game that f as I progressed throughout the game, as I like in like played the game um, after beating it and everything like that, uh, I think the issue is now that I know how to beat the game, I'm not going to play the game again. I am a big person, 
in beating the game to the best of my capabilities. I like keeping everybody alive. I don't like losing a lot of characters. I hated Mass Effect 2. Uh, the ending, if you fucked up, you lost a character. I did my best to keep everybody alive, and I hate it when you lose someone because then I have to play through the whole thing again. So if you lose a character, you're more inclined to go through and do it again. Um, but if you beat it all the way through, you're not really going to go through and do that because in my... I won't, anyway, uh, because I know how it ends, and if I were to do it, I'd play it exactly the same, maybe change some things in the beginning, but overall, I'd probably make it the exact same, regardless, uh, and that's kind of, and those are kind of where my cons really stop, I think the game is a really fun experience, if you haven't played any of the Dark Picture games, they're, it's really nice, I had a lot of fun, uh, I kind of want to go through and play all the Dark Picture games, but, like, I don't know, there's not really... There's not really a point when I played the game where I was like, oh, man, this is stupid. Like, I mean, I had some stupid reactions, but everything seemed pretty logical. Um, you have to make some decisions, and sometimes you just it's best to just be quiet. And I, the game doesn't really spoil that at all. It just kind of, like, implies, and you have to go with both your judgment calls. And it's, it's pretty cool. Um, the hints are nice. I don't know. There's not really a lot of flaws I have with it besides, of course, the two um, now that I beat the game not really going to play it again, and I feel like they should put more emphasis on the textures. You made a nice game. Let me explore explore it a little bit. Uh, we didn't, we tried to check out and try to explore everything we possibly could. Um, we couldn't find all of the, you know, mysteries and everything, but you're not going to find that all the first run, which might be a good reason to go back, but I really don't uh, want to, to risk any of those decisions because I got the ending I wanted. That's good. Overall, the rating I would give this game would probably be a solid 8 out of 10. Um, ah, maybe 7. 7, let's go 7. 7 out of 10. I would give, if I had to rate this game, I would give the game 7 out of 10. I wouldn't play it again unless I haven't played it in a while and I forgot how I did stuff. Um, it's not the type of game that if you keep everybody alive, you're going to want to go through again unless there's a secret ending. Um, but even then I would probably want to find out what, how to do it. I already beat the game. So like, I'll go through and explore content on it. So I'll just watch someone else do it. And of course I would want to experience that. So I might do it by myself, but overall, um, I got the ending I wanted and that kind of sucks. I think again, they should have fixed some of the textures off in the distance. There's a couple of bugs where I had to stop the game, but I had a wonderful time playing it. Ho like horribly fun experience. Yeah. Horribly fun. It was so horrifying. It was fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the content and enjoyed the video. I hope, let me know what you guys think about the game yourselves. Uh, like I said, I have my whole playthrough. Got the best ending. Most of it was, you know, really fun experience to play. Uh, I hope you guys can go check that out. It would mean a lot to me if you guys just let me know what you guys think. Um, don't subscribe yet. I have to earn it. Let me know what content you'd like to see on the channel. I am playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. So I'm not planning on making any content i know the video i produced it says that i want to kind of make content on it but i think dead by daily will be more of like a game i stream and have fun with outside of uh youtube because there's too many people making content on it i'm trying to make you guys like me not the game i play <laughs> so thank you guys for watching take care i hope you guys have a wonderful holidays happy holidays you know merry christmas peace out